What's up guys? It seems that a lot of people are having an issue with Input Mapper. To be honest, the first time I actually downloaded and installed it, I was having a lot of issues with my remote and it's why initially I said that wireless was not the option I wanted to go with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I installed Input Mapper and how I made it work with my remote. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first is you're gonna wanna go to InputMapper.com. I'm gonna go ahead and put the download link below. Once you're at InputMapper.com, you wanna go to the download section. I'm gonna put this exact link, like I said, down below and you want to click on input mapper 1.6.10 they do have uh, an input mapper 1.7 beta but I do not recommend it. my little cousin downloaded that one and it did not work in general so I recommend sticking with the 1.6 go ahead and just click download now I've already downloaded before I uninstalled everything just to make this video and I cross my fingers it works and there you go if you have Google Chrome you know where it is down here I'm gonna go ahead and just show it in the folder as I just downloaded it it's right there and then we're gonna go open up input mapper. Yes, I don't care if it damages my computer, go ahead and damage it all you want. I agree to the license term and install. Now this won't take more long, it's a very blah, 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 that I, I, just, I just put okay for that last time it happened, if I remember correctly. Um, it shouldn't take long, it's a small file. There we go, it finished downloading. Now, the next part. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and connect your wireless remote oh i have a green yeah go ahead and connect your wireless remote which would be your playstation remote at least in my case it is uh you want to go ahead and press the playstation home button and the share button at the same time until it starts blinking in the back give it a second and there we go now you can start connecting with bluetooth i go to bluetooth just click the regular bluetooth button and you'll see it right there wireless controller input and there it is once it's connected it's gonna have a light, but it still doesn't work. If you were to go into any game with this, Fortnite, for example, it will not recognize it. It just doesn't, it, it sucks. So I have Input Mapper right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And once you have it open, you'll notice you start getting these errors. Do not worry about these errors. These errors mean nothing. Just ignore them for right now. And uh, I think my profile might still be there because I just uninstalled it and reinstalled it. And as you see, once you already have it paired up in the Bluetooth, once you already, God damn it, stop it, stop, there we go. Once you have it paired up in Bluetooth, it will already recognize it here, and then when you open up the Input Mapper app, it will automatically recognize it itself as well. Now, the profile, all this is, is I created a profile to configure the colors so it, I know when it's going low battery just based on its color when it's full when it's low when it's charging etc it's nothing really special point is it works and that's pretty much all I did for input mapper you just want to make sure you download it directly from input mapper the 1.6.10 and then pair it on your computer your your remote and then open up input mapper what i did the first time is i restarted my computer and it actually made it work better i'm not sure why but the first time i downloaded input mapper it was not working correctly there was just some weird lag it was not aiming properly i just restarted my computer opened up input mapper after i paired the, com the controller and it was all working now if you were to close input mapper it does turn off the remote that's how i turn off my remote but yeah input mapper works great uh, i i honestly did not think it was going to work as good as it did especially after my first attempt with it uh it did not seem to work really well that's why i was making my video with the wireless versus wired comparison it was because when I tried it with Input Mapper, it just did not work that well. And I was pretty surprised. All right, well, that's everything. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Share this video if you think some people that you know might like it. If not, whatever. Hope to catch you guys in the next video.